Perhaps I was wrong. There have been rumors for a long time that they were going to make the Chronicles of Narnia films or a television series uh, after the three films that came out almost a decade or and a half ago, which they, they had The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, then we had Prince Caspian, and then we had The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. All of them kept the original actors, which was really great. Personally, I loved the three films. They were great. Now, of course, only the first one was the real closest to the book, and the other two were a little farther away from C.S. Lewis's books. However, Netflix now has the rights to The Chronicles of Narnia, so they can go ahead and make a series or a film, depending on what they would prefer. And based off of other uh, companies making big successes with films and series that are similar to The Chronicles of Narnia, it sounds like Narnia is going to finally get a new film on Netflix, and Netflix is rumored to already have chosen a director and a writer for these two Netflix Netflix Narnia films that are supposed to be coming out. We don't have a release date, but we're just getting the rumors now that Netflix has tapped Gretna Gerwig to write and direct the two Narnia films that Netflix wants to produce. So if there are no wars to fight, then why are we here? Now, Gretna Gerwig, you may never have heard of, but she's actually got a movie coming out this month, and that movie is Barbie. And your first thoughts would be probably the same as mine. What does uh, the, act, the director from making Barbie have to do with the Chronicles of Narnia? Granted, she's a director, but she's also directed other movies in the past that have, you may have heard of, such as The Little Women in 2019. So this is what really, here's my thoughts of Gretna Gerwig directing the Chronicles of Narnia, the two films that Netflix wants to produce. Gretna Gerwig came out with the Barbie when Barbie's coming out and said stuff like, well, Barbie came first and then Ken came and that's the opposite of what happened in Genesis. So why, why are we picking this director who's obviously not the, it's the opposite of what happened in like Genesis. And she's, she's all kind of like, she's, she's backwards from what the Chronicles of Narnia is all about. C.S. Lewis tried to write, the Chronicles of Narnia to be somewhat like Christianity. Well, what happens if you have somebody who's not at least familiar with Christianity do the Chronicles of Narnia? I don't think C.S. Lewis would want that of his books to be done by some director that doesn't believe in any of that. Uh, granted, that the director for the original three Narnia films may have not believed it, but he kept it close to the book. My question is, is Gretna Gerwig going to keep the Chronicles of Narnia that she's going to make close to the book like the the previous films? Or is she going to spin them off and try to change it a little bit? We don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because uh, with the rate that uh, films have been going these days, they've been going farther and farther away from uh, the books and the original works to try to make them more politically correct. So it's kind of a little bit of concerning for me. I am excited for Narnia. I love the Nar Narnia a story I really like. I it's gonna suck if they can't bring back the original actors. I mean, of course you have the actor for uh, Eustace is now too old. Um, so it's it, wherever they're gonna start off, they may just reboot the whole thing. I don't know, but I just thought that I'd take this moment to let you guys know that uh, Gretna Gerwig is being supposedly tapped to do this. And I was curious about what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts of her directing these two Narnia films? Let me know in the comments, and I hope that you have a good rest of your day. We'll let you know is about to change.